We're here with guitarist Greg Leischer from Camper Van Beethoven. He's got a new solo album out here. It's called Underwater Detection Method. Greg, how's it going, man? Good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Of course, of course. Well, Greg, you've got a new album coming out here, Underwater Detection Method. Can you tell the listeners a bit about the new album? Well, it's really different from anything else I've done before, primarily because I it's the first record I've ever written um, just using keyboards and not guitar. There, there's there's some guitar on the record, but the guitar came last. So the foundation of the record is more based on just kind of keyboards, synthesizers, electric pianos, um, just real keyboard, elect, more electronic based. So yeah, that's the, that's the real difference. So did you go into it with the, this kind of uh, idea or did something inspire you to kind of go in this new direction? Um, well, no, I, I went in, I went into this, I went in, you know, I bought some, I bought some software, I bought some reason software and I, I went into it with the intention of doing this. So uh, basically as I was finishing up about the time I was finishing up my last solo record, which is songs from the Imperial garden. That's like the first instrumental record I've ever done. And which is very, it's very guitar based. It's very kind of acoustic, not everything, but it's very kind of acoustic and light. And, um, you know, I'd learned that was a great, that was a great record for me to, to learn a bunch of things. And I I got more into just doing more of it myself, uh, working with, I kind of used that record to kind of cut my teeth uh, on Pro Tools with Pro Tools in my home studio and and doing a lot of engineering on my own and editing and, and all of that stuff. So about the time I was finishing, just as I as we were finishing that record up, I purchased uh I had I had already purchased this software. And um you know I just wanted to kind of keep the learning uh, the learning groove going forward. And so I'd kind of finished that my last record. And then I just wanted to go, I just wanted to make another record, but I wanted to go into a completely different direction. So if the last one was more, you know, generally speaking, light and acoustic, this is more kind of dark and electronic. So, Yeah, I imagine um, it might be a bit of a surprise for some of the fans when they first hear it, if they know you for more of your guitar stuff or with Camper Van Beethoven, but did it kind of surprise you at all when you step back and, and listen to it for the first time? Um, you know, <laughs> well, actually, I've spent so much time. I spent so much time working on it that I haven't really had a chance to step back from it. To be <laughs> honest with you, so it's 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 interesting too. Um, I mean, that's a good question. But basically, you know, I kind of started it started kind of as kind of like sound collage. I was just kind of working with um, different sounds and seeing which sounds worked with, with, um, you know, other sounds and just kind of building up these little ideas. And, you know, I was definitely, you know, I, I've always been able to kind of play like write a little melody or a little keyboard part if I was working on something else, but, you know, I didn't really have any skills with any of the stuff. I didn't really know how to play keyboards I didn't really know. I didn't know anything about synthesizers, and um, so the whole the whole idea was that I was just gonna um, just kind of dive in headfirst into something that I really didn't know a lot about, and see if I could um, see what I could come up with. And I was looking for something really different. So during the course of from the time I kind of started it uh, as as it progressed, you know, I just kept learning and, you know, and at some point I kind of had made a, just, I thought, you know, it's probably going to be a good idea if I start, you know, getting some piano lessons. And so I did that. And then, um, I have a mentor, Bruce Kappen, who's, um, a great musician and, um, producer engineer. And I, I kind of went to him and I said, I was, I was really interested in trying to, learn more about mixing and um just once again just more things that i just didn't didn't know a lot about at the time so i was was really eager to just try to to learn 
And so for me, it was just, it's kind of like going to school. You know, I just, I just, I just kind of started from scratch, really not knowing how, where anything was going to go. And then I just started putting stuff together and I started getting, I would get a couple ideas and, you know, that would lead to more ideas and then pretty soon it was a few songs. And then it was like, you know, more songs and I became 12 songs. And it actually, I never, I actually had never thought that it was going to be a, originally I'd never, th- I, you know, I was working towards being able to make a record. I wasn't sure that this project was going to be a record. I thought maybe it was just going to be learning, uh, a learning, a learning tool for me to get to another place to make another record. But actually what this record really is, is just like, it's, it's, it's kind of a documented journey of me, um, you know, learning the ropes of the software and uh, keyboards and synthesizers and all that stuff. So it's, that's, that's kind of the way, that's kind of the way, um, that's kind of the way it went, but you know, I've always been a big fan of, you know, keyboards and synthesizer based music, even before I was in camper van Beethoven. So going back to the early eighties. And um, so I felt like I was definitely entering a territory of music that I'd always want to explore but just didn't have the opportunity to do it. And so the software kind of gave me that opportunity and I took advantage of it to see what would happen. Yeah, it's great that it all worked out. And, you know, for somebody like you, who is obviously has the fan base already and you have mm-hmm. the, uh, the history you do, it, it would be easy mm-hmm. to just kind of, you know, rest on your laurels. That's great that you uh, dove into something that was, you know, outside of your comfort zone maybe and tried something new yes. and it definitely worked out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited about, about the fact that it turned into like a record and that, and that into project independent project records was interested in putting it out. They liked it and that it just, one thing just kind of led to another thing. And, and it's just been kind of just a great growth process for me. You know what I mean? And so I really, uh, I'm, I feel like I'm in a, a good place to be able to kind of do, um, just expand my knowledge, you know, and just try to do different things. You know, I'm, I'm, I listen to a lot of different types of music. So it's like, I, I didn't want to be just stuck doing the same, you know, thing over and over again, you know? So I just wanted to try to expand my sonic palette and learn as I go. And sure. uh, yes, it's a, it's been a positive experience. Well, and as you mentioned, uh, it's out on, independent project records uh, they've been putting out some really cool stuff some unique stuff as of late and i know yes. um, camper van beethoven actually did stuff with them way back in the day so it, it seems like a no-brainer for you to be working with them yeah they put out our first record you know f- almost next year will be like 40 years ago so it's crazy um so yeah exactly and and bruce is such a uh bruce leicher is such a, an, a, ta- a very talented graphic designer you know, I, I've, I, he, he, I worked with him before on my last solo record with uh, artwork and stuff like that. So, um, really excited to have that, um, you know, that part of what he does included in, in putting this all together and, and making everything look so nice and, and, and just the packaging, the artwork. It's like, I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. Awesome. Yeah. And obviously when it comes to, uh, camper van beethoven i mean those fans are fiercely loyal you know fans that have been with you guys for decades and, and yeah. i saw i saw you were back together me here for an impromptu show uh, earlier this year i think how was that for you getting back on stage again um it was good it wasn't all of us it was just uh it was just really just me and victor and david um with the drummer from cracker so um you know the violin player jonathan lives in sweden in stockholm okay and the drummer, our drummer lives in Sydney, Australia. Yeah. So, but anyway, between me and Victor and David, we were able to, um, you know, play f- a few camper songs at the top of, um, at the beginning of a cracker set, which is, you know, my singer's other band. And so, yeah, it felt good. You know, it just felt good to get back on stage. And, and I've been, I've been on stage off and on. I'm actually just getting ready to go up to Portland, Oregon, where Victor, our bass player, lives. He has a he's a 
singer songwriter in his own right and plays guitar so i play guitar in his band or whatever you know whatever group of musicians we put together at the time so i am involved in that so i'm going to go up there and do a couple of shows and um yeah it's good it's like i like i really like being on stage you know um the studio my studio is really good for me being able to expand my knowledge and learn all this you know learn all these things um which has been which is great but then <clears throat> getting on stage you know playing live is a whole nother kind of a whole nother side of the coin which i also enjoy just as much sure. it's just different yeah well i know it's been um 10 years or so i guess since the last uh, camper van beethoven album are you guys working on anything new or, or would you be open to maybe um new music from them coming up uh, we don't, you know, we don't have, we're not, we're not talking about, we're not at this point in time, we're not talking about, there's no, nothing, no talks in the works for any of that stuff. Um, but you know, our 40th anniversary is coming up next year. So maybe, maybe we do some shows or something like that. Okay. If something works out. Well, how about the, um, the monks of doom? What's the status on that band? Are you guys still working together? Um, yeah, we, you know, we work together when we can make it work but it, it's it's really it can be really tricky you know so our drummers in australia and um and then the other guitar player david Immergluck, he's in the counting crows sure so he goes out for long periods of time touring so it's like it's really just kind of like lining you know getting to a point where all the stars kind of align and we're it we're all in the same place at the same time and we've got some time uh, to be able to do something so that's usually how that how that kind of works as of right now we're, we're you know things are kind of we're on, on a bit of a hiatus with that uh, yeah as we are with camper at the moment so well it's great the the stars did align for for you here and underwater detection method is, is just out is there anything else maybe the fans should be uh, on the lookout for here you know I, I i don't really have anything i mean i continue to work in my studio and I have another, I have another, you know, kind of record that's similarly uh, electronically based, you know. Okay. Um, so I'm I'm kind of working on that and trying to get that finished up so I can get a follow up to underwater detection method and and get back in the studio and and start, um, you know, trying to put the finishing touches on uh, another record and and just keep it going. Awesome, man. Uh, Again, I'm digging the new album here, and it's been an honor speaking with you. Thank you so much for your time today, Greg. You're welcome, Dustin. Nice to talk to you. Thanks for your time. And again, that was Greg Leischer from Camper Van Beethoven. His new solo album, Underwater Detection Method, is out now.